Hi Trinity, welcome to worship. Trinity hosted Clinic 2022 last weekend. Here's a recap of the event from Clinic Coordinator Brenda Connolly. Our 16th year of clinic is coming to a close. We have had an awesome day. We served over 125 families. Thank you to over 225 volunteers that made this possible. Whether you baked, sorted, quilted, cooked, served, loaded cars, prayed, or counseled, we couldn't have touched our guests' lives without you. It was truly heartwarming to watch the hands and feet of Jesus at work today. Please know that you all made a difference. Thank you. Thanks, Brenda, for all your hard work organizing the clinic. I helped out with registration at the clinic, and it was great to see so many Trinity volunteers serving our community. Elevate classes continue today, but take the day off next Sunday. They resume on November 6th with the start of Elevate Season 2. Next Sunday is Reformation Day, and our music director, Peter Stigden, promises to crank up the organ to full Reformation volume when we sing A Mighty Fortress. It should be awesome. Reformation alone is enough for one Sunday, but next week, the fun continues after church at Trunk or Treat. I can hardly wait. Here is DC Haley with the latest info. Hey Trinity, Trunk or Treat is only one week away. I have my costume ready. I have my Halloween Trunk or Treat decorations here to decorate my trunk and some candy. But I still need your help. We're looking for more families to host a trunk and to pass out candy. This is an easy way to serve our community through the Halloween fun. I would also like to invite you to attend. This is an event for your whole family. Trunk or Treat is in our parking lot from 12.30 to 2 p.m. We will have cars passing out candy, a hayride, face painting, and lots of fun. You can sign up to host a trunk or to attend at our website. Go to trinityroselle.com and click on the Trunk or Treat box to register to trick or treat or to sign up your car and host a trunk. Moving to a more serious topic, this year Trinity will be having a remembrance service for those who have passed away over the last year at 7 p.m. Tuesday, November 1st, All Saints Day. In the past at Trinity, we've held our remembrance service on New Year's Eve, but the move to All Saints Day on November 1st is actually the more traditional day that the church has observed for about the past 1,500 years. We will not have a New Year's Eve service this year, so please join us on November 1st for this special service. Gloria Day Choir will sing, and we will have refreshments in the cafe after worship. Finally, November 6th is our next congregational meeting. Here is Church Council Chair, Dr. Aaron Ducat. Hi Trinity, I'm Aaron Ducat, new chair of Trinity's Church Council. I'd like to invite you to our next congregational meeting on Sunday, November 6th, right after the 11 o'clock service. We're going to introduce our new council members and executive board, provide an update on the community center, and then information about the planning process for moving ministries here to the main campus. Childcare will be provided, and it wouldn't be a Lutheran meeting without coffee and snacks. I look forward to seeing you all there. Please let us know if you're coming to the congregational meeting by registering at trinityroselle.com slash RSVP. We need to make sure we have enough childcare help and refreshments. Aaron, I hope we have something better than donut holes. Hope to see you all there. Pastor, let's worship. <laughs> 